Hi guys, Ashley here and I'm going to try out my top 10 favourite lash products. So let's get started! So this is the mask of Magnemity. It's actually part of Lush a uh, new range of self-preserving products. So you don't actually have to put it in the fridge and like toss it away after one month. You can just like leave it in your shower and uh, use as and when you need it. Uh, so what this does is it actually cleanses and tightens your pores uh, because it has clay and peppermint oil. And there's also vanilla absolute in it uh, which helps with redness like around your nose or around your forehead area. Um, and it's also non-abrasive. This is the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. What it contains is actually some sea salt uh, to help exfoliate your skin. It also has coconut oil and avocado butter to give you a very smooth finish and also contains uh, lots of limes to give it that really nice and fresh citrus scent. This is the new Charity Pot which is actually a self-preserving hand and body lotion. It contains both cocoa butter and olive oil and it's all fair trade. Uh, to give you that really soft and velvety smooth skin. Uh, it also has aloe vera, so anybody with sensitive skin, this is for you. But that's not the best part. The Lush Charity Pot actually contains seven ingredients sourced from the Sustainable Lush Fund projects. And with every purchase of the Charity Pot, uh, they will donate 100% of the proceedings to small grassroots organisations that support environmental conservation, animal welfare and human rights. And what you'll end up with will be velvety, beautifully scented skin and you're doing a world of good with every pot purchase. So this is the Vanishing Cream Facial Moisturizer and what it contains is actually rich hazel, grapeseed oil and lavender. The highlight of this is also the sheer butter which helps to condition your skin without leaving a heavy film over it. It's even light enough to use twice daily. It's often a common misconception um, that People with oily skin shouldn't use moisturizers and they should dry it out but often your skin is just compensating for something else so I highly recommend this. So what I have here with me is the Gorgeous Facial Moisturizer. Uh, what it contains is pineapple juice which helps to cleanse any dirt and oils on your face. Uh, this moisturizer is actually really mattifying so you'll look really natural the entire day and it'll just like sink into your skin. Uh, you're supposed to see improvements uh, in 4-6 to six weeks so you have to use it consistently. This is the Enchanted Eye Cream and as you know, the skin around your eyes is really delicate so the cold pressed almond oil in here is perfect uh, since it contains a lot of vitamin E and it will restore and moisturise the skin under your eyes. Do you know that Lush actually has a makeup line? If you didn't then I'm here to introduce to you this Emotional Brilliance. Well, what it is is actually an ultra fine translucent face powder with pink undertones and it gives a really matte finish but if you think it's drying, it's not because it actually has jojoba oil which will really nourish your skin. This is the R&B Hair Moisturizer which is actually one of the best selling products at Lush. What it does is revives the hair and uh, balances the scalp and it contains lots of oils, herbs and butters that will be really really good for your hair. This is ideal for people with really dry hair and it's also vegan. So I'm here to show you two of my favourite uh, Lush Buff Bombs. The first one is the Experimenter and this one actually explodes into like a million colours in your bath. There's also glitter so it looks really really nice and it's all biodegradable so don't worry about their environment. So what I have here is the Tisty Tosty Buff Bomb and what it has is actually 7 rosebuds inside. Uh, the smell is really refreshing. Uh, it smells like roses and a bit like vanilla-ish. Yeah, so I really like this and it's perfect for Valentine's. 